about a month ago I picked up a single kind of uh, 16 by uh, 32 LED matrix panel. This is a panel kind of sold by I think maybe in partnership with Seed Studio I think, uh, but it's available from a couple of distributors. It's not RGB, um, it's a single kind of red colour, but it's a really thin, really nice little panel this. Um, I had a quick play at the time, but I didn't do anything with it, so I put it in a drawer, left it. Um, I've kind of revisited this recently. I ordered a second panel and I've put this up into a, uh, a 64 by 16 grid and laser cut a mounting bracket on the back just to kind of fits over the top, the screen's bolt through here and there's cutouts for the larger connectors. And I've been playing around with this mainly with a uh, kind of standard Arduino the 328P and looking at driving the screen from that and it's uh, it's been a kind of a, a really fun project. I've um, I've never really worked with a, a matrix screen or a, a screen like this directly. I've always just used them and taken a maybe a kind of a, a library of code that works with this already. But um, the code that this applied to the screen was really quite basic. It had the ability to write uh, a buffer to the screen and maybe a addressing particular points and characters um, but there's only no there's no kind of software that came with it to load text onto it and so I had a play and um, I just had some fun kind of experimenting with that and so I've got it kind of set up and running here I found that the um, that the driving a screen this size with the display buffer trying to offload all of that data onto this screen the kind of a 16 meg speed is just too slow to drive it so I switched up to the Teensy 3.1 which is uh, I think around about 50 megahertz operates at and drives this perfectly it could probably take another couple of panels as well so I'm going to power this up it just uh, loads up displays a default message this is uh, kind of pre-programmed in there but it's um, I've written a nice kind of quite a simple bit of code actually. Any command it receives, uh, you type in it, send it a string over the serial line and it replaces the buffer with that message. And so you can send another string, I type that in and I do need to reconnect to the serial port here. And it immediately switches out the text. So it's constantly rewriting the screen. It's, it's taking, um, there's two lines of text this supports. So if I update it to show that. I've chosen um, a special character of a plus in this case, and that signifies I want to move on to the next line. So I'm sending the string in this case, hello plus world. And it formats that onto two lines. And so every time it loops through, it takes the uh, kind of message buffer and it writes that into the display buffer at individual points and that deals with the scrolling. It's, um, it's actually quite straightforward. I've pulled a font file from um, Adafruit's GFX library and there's a kind of a little bit of code which looks up the correct kind of font and the, the data for that and it loops through each bit at a time and translates it. Um, their fonts kind of are, at the, are on the side for some reason so it kind of rewrites the kind of matrix um, rotating it onto the screen and that occurs every time the pixel moves through it rewrites the entire buffer and then continually that buffer is being written out to the screen as a separate process and so this is now up and running as a really kind of quite a simple basic little thing but it's quite fun and it's uh, kind of allowed me to experiment with something I haven't normally really looked at before uh, kind of writing a, a buffer and then looking at the, the, the problems and the issues with sending that out to a screen and uh, I'm going to leave this as a um, little kind of standalone project. I'm going to wait for the next revision of my serial to Ethernet adapter to turn up and hook it up to that. So I, it'll basically pull its message from a, um, a predefined web server somewhere and kind of get a message like that so you can get it to display anything. But I'm putting this to one side for now, but uh, I'm going to take what I've um, I guess learnt playing around with this and use it to hopefully drive one of the uh, uh, the very large kind of RGB matrix display I picked up recently and that came from the Piccadilly Circus in London and so that's actually a, it's a lower resolution than this 
It's, uh, I believe it's 16 by 48 pixels, but it is full RGB. And so it'll be interesting kind of having a go at uh, driving that. So I'm probably gonna have to uh, reproduce most of the software myself for that.